Believe it or not, this is a really badly infected system, so much so that even if we search for virus removal tool, try to download it and run it, this is what happens. We get a fake antivirus pop-up and the actual tool is never allowed to execute. And it's not just a vast. We can go back and try Kaspersky's virus removal tool. Download that, KVRT, with the same result. In fact, now we have two of these amazing fake AV pop-ups. You know what, two's not enough for a good thumbnail, so I'm gonna go for a few more. And there you go, I think that's a really good thumbnail. But how do we get rid of this? How do we actually clean up this system effectively? What tools should we use? And I just wanna say that before making this video, I've had a live stream where I've tried every single tool out there pretty much on the system. And we've tried to discover the most effective things that actually work. So the first tool we're going to use in this case is going to be Norton Power Razor. Why this? Why Norton? As you know, I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of Norton Antivirus, but this is actually a very effective tool at removing critical malware and making your system functional, and it's very fast and effective. I've also tried Malwarebytes, KVRT, a bunch of other tools. This was the only one that was able to get rid of our friendly fake antivirus here. The other tool, which I use quite often, would be Hitman Pro. Now, the thing about Hitman Pro is, again, it's very effective at quickly scanning your system. All it does is basically collects hashes of the most common files, checks them in the cloud, tells you if anything's possibly infected. It's a very good diagnostic tool in the sense that it can tell you if a system is infected. It can identify malware in common locations. What it's not great at is removing malware. The best tool for that is actually Kaspersky because they have advanced disinfection technology, so they will do the least damage to your system and try to remove the malware without necessarily harming the files that it may be a part of. However, on this system, we can't run Kaspersky yet because our friendly neighborhood antivirus won't let us do that. Another tool to keep in mind, of course, is Malwarebytes, but while it's very good at removing traces, again, it's not going to execute on the system until we can get rid of our buddy here. So the first tool, and the order is important, is going to be Norton Power Razor. We're going to do a full system scan, which as you can see is going to be really fast. And it has already identified a lot of malware, as you can see. We've got many EXEs under the Windows folder, which is never a good thing. We've got some files trying to look like system process. If we scroll down, there are also some medium threats, and these are the antivirus installers that we downloaded. But if we look at the creator, they are all apparently made by Tech Tejesh developers, which is definitely not what KVRT and Avast should have in their metadata. So the core malware in this case has been replacing all the EXEs we've been downloading from the internet and thereby controlling what EXE even runs on the system. We've also got a modification of the host file in Sys32 drivers, and this is also likely part of the hijack mechanism. So we're going to select this as well, and we'll say fix now. In a system as badly infected as this, we're going to have to do a restart of the system but once that's done, we should have some level of control. We're back and Norton says eight items were removed or repaired. So let's see if we have better luck trying to download and run an antivirus. We've got another copy of KVRT and this time, wait, it actually runs. And now we can do a scan. This is going to be a much longer scan, but the advantage is it has some really good repair capabilities. So in some circumstances where other tools will potentially damage your system, this can recover it without necessarily deleting a bunch of services or EXE files. We can also do a scan with Hitman Pro. Nothing really is detected other than a few tracking cookies. So Norton off the bat has done a really good job. Of course, there are still traces on the system, and at this point we can try tools like Malwarebytes, ADW Cleaner. But I just want to go back to the previous snapshot and show you how badly infected it was with another Hitman Pro scan here. A lot of scary stuff in the results. We've got several services. The EXE falls in Windows, and the best part is all of these are currently active. So the run next to them, some of them are active as services. 
But interestingly, Hitman Pro did not detect the host file modification nor the infected exe files in our downloads, where the actual AV setup was replaced by malware. So in summary, the order of tools I would use would be Norton Power Racer, NPE to start, Kaspersky next, followed by Hitman Pro and Malwarebytes, just to make sure there are no traces on the system. All of these tools are free, very easy to use, so I'm not gonna go too much in depth talking about my new details. With Hitman Pro, you can only quarantine and delete, Whereas with PowerRacer, you can repair certain system files and functions. Kaspersky will also obviously have their advanced disinfection option, which I do recommend if you're cleaning an actual system. This is, of course, a VM. And the reason I recommend this combination of tools is because I've tried this several times with several different tools, and this is what has provided the best results. This is actually the machine we use for the forensics video. And I did a Discord live stream where I tried to clean it with all possible tools. And this is what I learned. So hopefully you find this useful. I know some of you are probably thinking, why didn't you mention Tronscript? Now the thing to understand with custom tools like that and automation is that they can be really useful. But if you pay attention to the instructions, even with Tronscript, it's going to tell you that it's a tool designed for advanced users. If you're not careful, there's always a risk that it does something you didn't want it to do. Also, when we did try Tronscript on the system, it didn't manage to remove the malware successfully. But maybe we'll make another video on Tronscript specifically and customize it. Let me know if you want to see that. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to join our Discord server if you want to join those fun live streams where I'm playing around with system and discovering stuff like this. And now to our sponsors. We want to back up and share files with full privacy. We want to prevent Microsoft and Google from monopolizing the cloud. Then check out Internext, a cloud storage platform focused on privacy where you can sign up and get 10 gigs for free using the link in the description. All your data is encrypted. It's zero knowledge and it's easy to use. It's got drag and drop previews. It's also got a trash. So if ransomware were to encrypt your drive or something like that, you would still have some way to get your data back. You can use it to back up your data on your computer or sync your photos from your phone. Internext also have a really cool product called Send. You can just drag and drop something here, click on get a link and boom, it's ready to go. Now you can just copy the link, paste it anywhere and you have access to this file. They've got a variety of pricing options for individuals and business, but you can obviously start off for free. Now, personally, I have a business OneDrive with a lot of storage, but I still use Internex to share files with friends just because I really like the UI and I think it's really convenient, especially the send feature. So please check them out using the link in description or go to internext.com. If you do decide to support them and buy a plan, make sure to use the code PC Security to get 25% off. I think it's really important for us to use and encourage third-party providers in this space and not just rely on Google and Microsoft because, as you know, they don't have a great track record on privacy. This is Leo. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay informed, stay secure.